Longhorn, Cowboys, the Alamo. You guessed it, we're flying from Miami to Texas. Let's get this started. There's a big old place at the bottom of the map with whaling and men that hung their hat. And that Lone Star beer can change your state of mind. Well, you can go out just about every night here and pick guitars and you can pick a fight. Or you can have your pick of any yellow rose inside. But if you ever mess with it, you ain't gonna ever forget it. You leave your heart way down on in it. You'll be feeling like you died and gone to Texas. There's a duck and swing every other white line where the buckle bonnets go to lose their mind. And a cowboy knows he can have himself a ball. There's first and tens under Friday night lights. Bulls and bells every Saturday night. Come Sunday morning, the preacher gonna save us all. And if you Ain't gonna ever forget it You'll leave your heart way down in it You'll be feeling like you died and gone to Texas I'll take it Hey guys, this is on We're gonna let the NG wind up down here And as soon as that winds up as high as it's gonna go It should be in there Now we introduce the low idle now we're looking for hot starts, hung starts, hot starts on the ITT, hung starts on the NG, not to continue to wind up. It's a pretty hot day out here, plus 34 degrees Celsius on the ramp. Here, we'll go over to clearance here and pick up Rye Fire. Hope we'll clearance. Good afternoon, November 851 Tango Bravo. We're over at Signature with Sierra looking to pick up Rye Fire. TBM 851 Tango Bravo cleared to Dallas Love Airport via the Miami 6 departure Winko transition that is filed. Maintain 2000, expect flight level 30010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be 128.6, Glock 5730. Cleared out to Dallas Love, Miami 6, Winko transition has filed, maintain 2000, expect 300 10 minutes after, 128.6 on departure frequency, squawking 5730, November 85, 1 Tango Bravo. DBM 1 Tango Bravo, read back correct. Oh, block of ground, good afternoon, November 85, 1 Tango Bravo, approaching spot 3 with Sierra Ray Taxi. November 85, 1 Tango Bravo, runway 27 right, taxi via November 6, November 9. November 6, November to 27 right, November 85, 1 Tango Bravo. All right, we gave the marshal a quick flash of the taxi lights. That lets him know we're ready to taxi. We got our taxi instructions. We'd like to welcome everybody on board. So we've got a special treat today. We're going to be flying IFR in the TBM 850 from Miami, Florida, out to Dallas, Texas. We're going to go up to flight level 300, and I'll show you the route once we get up going here. We'll show you the route that we're going to be doing today. If you guys do like these videos, be sure to smash the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel, always greatly appreciate it. Also ring that little bell to notify you when I upload the videos. Oh, Welcome to Tower, November 851 Tango Bravo, approach it 278, hold short. 851 Tango Bravo, Black Tower, turn right heading 300, runway 27 right for takeoff. Ready for takeoff, runway 27 right, we'll turn right to 300, November 851 Tango Bravo. All right, we've got our takeoff clearance here, we're crossing the hold short bars, clear down the runway, and the final looks clear. I'm going to leave the bleed off on this takeoff roll since it's so hot outside until we get airborne, and then I'll turn the bleed on so the engine stays a little cooler on our takeoff roll. 
All right, we're gonna line up on center line here. Here we go, Dallas, Texas. Here we come. We're using the t power up for our takeoff power. And since I don't have the bleed on, the ITT is a lot cooler than if I would have had it on. All right, uh, and the temperature. Charlie, Quebec, pressure's all uh, good. Northbound for now. That um, Astrojet's uh, three northeast. Looking for a rotation speed. Hi. I don't think I'll be able to see that, but I'll find one. There it right is. For uh, zero charge, Quebec. Zero charge, Quebec. Roger, flying north. Over back on the yoke, up in the sky we go. November 96 Hotel, Hotel Localizer, AMAS 27, right. Alright, 986 Hotel, Hotel, Black Attack. And we'll go gear up. 11 o'clock, 3 miles, helicopter uh, 700 or below northbound, runway 27, right to the left. Gear is up. Touch and go. 6 Hotel Hotel Roger, runway 27 right, good, touch and go. We'll start a right turn to 300. Zero, zero. Uh, left or right traffic. It's nice taking off out of 27 because this is basically the, the direction we need to go for our route. We're going to go flaps up, I'm keeping an yaw damper on. Now I'll pull the power back a little bit and we're going to put our bleed on. Now our ITT is going to go a little bit higher but we'll be alright. Air 1 Tango Bravo, contact Miami departure. Departure, one tango bro. Alright, seven three three tango tango black. Alright, we're gonna go to departure frequency. We're also gonna put the autopilot on. This is a three hour and forty eight minute flight. Right, good afternoon, November eight five one tango bravo to you one thousand three hundred, climb into two thousand. Eight five one tango bravo, my departure to contact, climb maintain four thousand. Maintain four thousand, one tango bravo. Mm -hmm. Maybe jump with twenty thirty two, five for four, requesting left. All right, so we got 4,000 set up in our altitude selector. And we're, I like to climb at 140 knots. What we're going to actually do is go into VS mode. We'll pitch for 2,500 feet a minute, let our speed bleed off, and then as soon as it hits 140 knots. 1945, one thing I'm Good day. Once it hits 140 knots, we'll go into IS mode. Good afternoon, Miami, November 85, one thing I'm 2,900, climb to 4,000. No, we're 85, one tango bravo, Miami departure, Roger, climb maintain 7,000. 7,000, one tango bravo. Right, so 7,000 in our altitude selector, and we're staying in IS mode. What we're going to do now is go up and over with the flap lever, and now we go into 850 mode, and we'll also turn the inertial separator off. When you turn your inertial separator off, you're going to get an increase in torque. They constantly want to pull it back so you don't over torque the engine. Over one tango Bravo, one able direct Winko. Direct Winko, one tango Bravo. Over one tango Bravo, traffic no factor, climb maintain one zero thousand. One zero thousand, one tango Bravo. Departure. All right, put direct Winko. One zero thousand in the altitude selector. Direct fourteen fifty seven, Miami departure, radar contact. Good afternoon, climb maintain seven thousand. VS at three thousand feet a minute until our speed bleeds back to hunt one forty, and we'll go into nav mode. All right, now that we're up and running here, this is our route today. We just took off out of Miami. We're going to go up over Sarasota, join the Q100 route to over to the intersection of Fatso. We'll make landfall just around New Orleans and then proceed up over Louisiana into Texas and then over into Dallas. We do have some weather just north and around Dallas, so we'll have to keep an eye on that as we get closer. Delta 1525, Miami departure, radio contact. Good afternoon, climb maintain 7,000, 360. That is our altitude alert, 1,000 to go. We're at 9,000. Climbing up to one zero thousand currently, and that should hopefully put us above the majority of the clouds down here in Florida. So it should be a nice smooth ride. We are going quite a ways over the Gulf of Mexico. We have a life vest on board. Also, I got a twenty-man <laughs> life raft. So if we go down, I'll have basically a cruise ship to float around on until they get rescued. One tanker Bravo coming in one one thousand. One one thousand. One tanker Bravo. Departure for carrot 4407, 1.5 for 5,000. So with a three hour and 48 minute flight time today, coffee time is strictly being enforced. There is no bathroom on board, so if you are a passenger on this airplane, you would want to wait until one hour ETE. For me, it really doesn't matter because I'm a single pilot in a single pilot airplane. It's not like I'm going to get up and go use the restroom, so I just got to suffer. So it does feel good to be back at work flying the TVM A50. This is one of my jobs that I have. 
If you guys are considering ever wanting to fly Nine, so as a career, or even just for fun, for be sure to check out my friend Jason Shepard. He's got a cool YouTube channel, M0A.com, and uh, he has uh, online ground school, and he also does uh, flight videos for training. Be sure to check it out. It'll be in the description below. 1,000, one tango, bro. We're getting a slow step up here today, guys. 1,000 feet at a time. One Tango Bravo, climb and maintain one six thousand. One six thousand, one Tango Bravo. One Tango Bravo, contact by me center one three two point four five. Good day. Three two forty five, one Tango Bravo. Good day. Three one twenty five. Say your final. Good afternoon, Miami. November eighty five, one Tango Bravo. Do one two thousand, climb to one six thousand. Direct Winko. Bravo, climb, maintain one six thousand. You're climbing reference to Airbus. It's your six o'clock, five miles, leaving sixteen and a half. Roger, we'll keep that for the Airbus, and we'll go up to one six thousand, one Tango Bravo. Air climbing via this Airbus that's right behind us. Climb maintain a flightable one nine zero. Climb maintain one nine zero one Tango Bravo. Climb maintain one nine zero one Tango Bravo. All right, gonna go up in the flight levels now. One nine zero set. And once we go up past one eight zero, we'll push the uh, standard button. I'll go two nine nine two on our altimeter. There's one four zero on the speed. Push the IS button. Now we're climbing back in IS mode. Don't have to worry about stalling the plane. The hold right around 140 when I push the button. All right, that's 18,000 feet. The beginning of the flight levels here coming up, so we're going to go standard 2992. The altimeter jumps up to its uh, 2992 setting. We'll put that on both of them. 851 Tango Bravo, climb maintain, follow 230. Climb into flight 230, one Tango Bravo. And up we go again. As a pilot, it's nice to just get bigger step-ups than such uh, more frequent level-offs, just because, you know, it's nice to just get up there and set your cruise power. 251 Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center, 126.52. 2652, 1 Tango Bravo, good day. Good afternoon, Miami, November 851 Tango Bravo, 204, climbing to 230. November 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, Lou, climbing to level 300. All right, thanks for that, up to 300, 1 Tango Bravo. All right, good news. We are cleared up to our cruise altitude, finally. What we're going to do now is let the airplane climb up, we'll let it plane out, build up its uh, airspeed, and then we'll set our cruise power. Okay, and we can take the shoulder harnesses off here now. Get comfortable for this lovely three-hour and 48-minute flight. November 851 Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center 128.22. Good day. 2822, one Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Good afternoon, Miami. November 851 Tango Bravo, D242, climbing to 300. November 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, Roger. Good afternoon. The service ceiling on the TBM 850 here is 31,000 feet. So, uh, since we're going westbound today, we have to pick a even altitude. And since we're going over the water, I like to go as high as I possibly can in case we have any kind of trouble. Gives us the most amount of time to diagnose and try to fix it before we hit the water. So that's why I chose 30,000 feet for this route. That'll give us quite a long time to troubleshoot any issue if the engine was to fail to try to get it restarted or uh, any other problem we might have. But usually if an engine fails on a turboprop, you're most likely not going to get it restarted in my opinion. Normally a pretty catastrophic failure. All right, so we are now level. We let the airspeed build up. We're going to set our cruise power. So we're at 30,000 feet. Got the uh, torque pulled back enough here. Now what we're going to do is come down here with our prop RPM and pull this back towards towards me. And as you're going to pull that back, you're going to see the prop RPM right there. Go back to 1900. And the torque should rise a little bit. 133.9 for 9 zero public today. Now we have the uh, prop back to 1900, which is what I like for cruise. And we have our cruise power set. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and you go to the fuel page on our engine trend monitoring. And right now, if we scroll down, I set in how much fuel we had on board when we took off. Right now, I double check this throughout the flight to make sure it's still holding true to give us correct information. We have 243 gallons of fuel on board is what it's showing. We come up here and look and double check it with the gauges of what's really in the plane, and it matches up. So now when you come down, all this information is going to be correct. Fuel flow of 50.2. We got 5.31 nautical miles per gallon is what we're getting. And we'll have 83 gallons when we land at Dallas. 
with our passport currently going. So it's always good to keep on top of all this just to make sure everything is accurate. We have uh, three hours and ten minutes so we get to Dallas, 851 more miles. So what I'm going to do now, now that we uh, got the airplane all cruised out and we know everything's all looking good and running good and everything's calculated properly, I'm going to sit back and relax and I'll turn on the XM radio for about the next three hours and uh, we'll see you guys uh, a little bit farther down the road here. Dallas Love. We've been given down to 14,000. We're currently passing through flight level 220. We'll go over and pick up the ATIS to Dallas Love. Drive Jaeger, one Tango Bravo. Getting the ATIS there, we have information Charlie. So we're gonna, we got some storms all in the area. We're gonna expect, uh, I'm gonna try to get an RNAV approach for 13 left since. Jaeger at 7,000, one Tango Bravo. One Tango Bravo, are you able to RNAV arrival to the red and four, no, Dallas left? Affirmative, we can do that, one Tango Bravo. Absolutely, after Jaeger, join the red and four arrival to Dallas left, one Tango Bravo, thank you. I'll drive your Jaeger right for arrival 851 Tango Bravo. Electronic oh, charts is uh, so nice when you're flying single pilot because things come quick and you don't want to be flipping through a, a book of uh, paper trying to find your approach place. Starting to go down through some of the cloud layers that you can see out here to the left. Pretty cool looking. We'll also put on our onboard weather radar just for an extra step of safety. In case uh, things start to blossom up in front of us as we get closer to the airport. We got quite a bit of precip over by the airport, especially on the uh, approach. I overlaid our arrival and everything onto our uh, charts here. But it looks like there's going to be heavy, moderate rain over the airport. Hope you guys got your seatbelts on, because right, it's going to get a little bumpy coming up here. About to go into some Nine, IMC conditions. That's where we will no longer be able to see out the windows here pretty soon, and we'll be just relying off all our instruments. Well, the good news is we don't have the sun in our face anymore. So when you're going through bumps, I usually always pull the power back. It'll make the bumps less violent compared to going through them really fast. Our airport is in modern precept. The only problem is, is our approach puts us out into the orange. And that's what I'm looking at right now. Our approach goes out into the orange. Even though the airport is in yellow. That's something we got to be aware of here. Number 8-5-1-Tango-Bravo, contact regional approach on 125.2. Good day. 25.2-1-Tango-Bravo, have a good day. Approach, good afternoon. November 8 5 one tango bravo 7,600, descending to 7,000 with Charlie. Number 851, take a bravo, reach little approach. Thanks. Delta is now current. DFW altimeter 29901. 9 1, we'll get Delta, one tango bravo. All right, so the top of the hour, they just switched. Uh, Temperature 18, 2.17. 8, so we'll Altimeter check the new one. Niner, niner, two. Your approach, Cessna 8, right approach in you. Number 8, 7, Mike, Mike. Severe weather avoidance program in effect. Number 7, Mike, Mike, greater contact in north of Cedar Creek. And if you're not sure, Mike, you're going to have to have a nice effect on the left. And Bellis Love, the runway 13 left and 13 right are in progress. 
advised on initial contact. You have information, Delta. All right, we have information, Delta. We'll let them know. 85, one Tango Bravo, this is to maintain 5,000. To maintain 5,000, one Tango Bravo, we have Delta. Thank you. And approach it. 85, one Tango Bravo, just want to confirm, are we gonna, can we expect uh, RNAV for one three left? The next controller will assign your runway. I'm not sure which one they're going to give you yet. Okay, Roger. Right now, I got everything briefed for the RNAV one three left. It's just. When they switch it up, when you're this close to the airport, to, when you're single pilot, to just rebrief a whole new approach is close, it's it's pretty tricky. So, thankfully, with my app here, four flight, it'll be quicker than doing it the old-fashioned way. And the ATS did say they had a severe weather avoidance, in, in it, which is active. There's some bit bad storms all to the west and to the northwest of the airport. November 851, Tango Bravo, contact approach 123.9, good day. 23.9 one Tango Bravo, good day. Approach number 85 one Tango Bravo to you, 5,000. 85 one Tango Bravo, reach approach runway 1-3 left. Uh, Julie, can we get, uh, get on request for the uh, RNAV 1-3 left? Respect the RNAV Zulu runway 1-3 left. RNAV Zulu 1-3 left, 85 one Tango Bravo. That was 1443, flight in at 260. All right, so we're going to go RNAV Zulu 1-3 left, so i got a quick... 917 November, maintain Go back and pull up the Zulu one. One three left. Thank you, zero with the Delta Regional Approach. Roger, start one one three left. All right, we're all lined up. Three left, zero with the Delta. So there's about five of us all going in to one three left. We got another yellow, little yellow cell hub here in front of us, five miles. This is all just moderate rain that we'll be going in and out of. Clear vision, one three left, going to town south, plus fourteen forty three two. So it sounds like tower will be our next frequency. 1, 2, 3, 0. 0.7, so we'll get that set up so we're ahead of the flight. That way I don't have to tune it in when we uh, get our next frequency okay. change. Uh, 1 Tango Bravo, it's going to maintain 4,000. It's going to maintain 4,000, 1 Tango Bravo. Alright, we put 4,000 in our altitude selector and we VS 1,500 feet traffic. minute down. We should be popping out of this IMC here pretty quick. Kelly on the traffic, 317 away. November. He's to the left, maintain visual separation. Gives you a little bit more confidence so you can oh, actually see the rain columns. Visual separation from uh, the And I don't think we need the sunglasses anymore. Well, look at there. We've got a real nice view of downtown Dallas, Texas, off our left. And approach another 851 Tango Bravo. We have a field site. Tango Bravo, Rogers. Well, yeah, I thought you want the RNM Zulu approach. Oh, uh, we'd love to have the visual if that's possible. Continue President Hang, 1 Tango Bravo, maintain 3,000. 3,000, President Hang, 1 Tango Bravo. All right, I tried to sneak in there just to get a visual, but... Building flight, MJ-876. MJ-876, clear visual approach for 1, 3 left, contact left turn, 1, 2, 3, 0. 7. Visual approach, 1, 3 left, 1, 2, 3, 0. 7. What happened is that uh, Hawkers, they put him in front of us. We got the kind of... 1 Tango Bravo, fly heading at 3, 2, 0 now for your sequence. 3, 2, 0, 1 Tango Bravo. So yeah, we, we got a raw deal on this one. They gave the uh, Hawker, that we, which was behind us, the visual, and they put us on vectors into the heavier stuff. So you gotta love that. Oh, the airplane needed a wash anyway. One Tango Bravo, turn left, heading 240. 240, one Tango Bravo. There was enough. You have low field inside at 10, moving on. Got another five. airfield right down here below us. Looks uh, like yeah, it's Addison. Future with the hit. Zero whiskey delta. Zero whiskey delta. Clear visual approach. One three left. Contact left tower. One three point seven. Three three seven. Clear for the visual. One three left. Zero whiskey delta. Twenty three seven. Rather. You guys want a little bit more scenic tour anyway of Dallas, didn't you, right? One Tango Bravo. It's going to maintain two thousand. It's going to maintain two thousand. One Tango Bravo. All right. So we put two thousand. Feet in there and we're one Tango Bravo, yeah, maintain one seven zero knots or less. Uh, you feel the left field inside over by ten o'clock and eight miles. Stay firm, field and sight, we'll maintain one seven zero on the speed, one Tango Bravo. Yeah, the clearance for you at about two to three miles here, just continue at two forty heading. Roger, continuing two four zero heading, one Tango Bravo. See over there, we've got the field and sight out there. 34, 38, 4, one Tango Bravo, flighting at two two zero, join final, you could visit approach from a one three left. 220 to join the final clear for the visual, 13 left, 851 Tango Bravo. 1 Tango Bravo, contact left tower now, 123.7, good day. Over to tower, have a good day, 1 Tango Bravo. 
Battle Slope Tower, good afternoon, November 8, 5, 1, Tango Bravo, on the uh, visual for 1, 3, left. 3, 5, 1, Tango Bravo, left tower, Renitro, let's continue. Continuing, 1, Tango Bravo. Alpha 1410, are you good to go? Alpha 2535, continue via Lima, hold short of Charlie, 7. Lima, short of Charlie, 7, southwest 2535. 2349 and 22, actually, on the Charlie, approach. Even though we're flying line, it visually, we'll, you just a moment. we'll let the autopilot have some fun. No problem, 2349. Make sure it does its... Good job. 850, or correction, 851, Tango Bravo, left tower, runway 13 left, wind 360 at 5, clear to land. Clear to land, 13 left, 851, Tango Bravo. All right, guys, sounds good. We got our clear to land clearance for 13 left. We've got the uh, runway out there in sight. As you guys can see, we're right on the glide path, and we're right on the approach course. A little bit to the left, the airplane's holding a little bit to the left, and we're actually a little bit high, but the airplane's adjusting. The autopilot's flying this right now. Sorry, was that for stop 1410? 1410, that is correct. Runway 13 right, cleared for takeoff. Put the gear down, selected, and make sure it indicates. Stop 2535, runway 13 right, line of the wind. 13 right, line of the wind. And indicating. That's always a good feeling when you see it indicating. The plane's doing a good job, ran the glide path, ran the approach course. You also see the little simulated runway on our display right there. Pretty cool. We're going to be landing with a little bit of a quartering left tailwind. When landing airplanes, landing with tailwinds is not always the easiest to grease them in. Airplanes like to land into the wind. 500. 500 feet to go. We'll disconnect the autopilot. Now we're just hand flying it in. You'll hear the chime when we would have to go mist, so you can see the how low you can actually go. Yeah, I can feel the slight tailwind here. I'm still hand flying. Well, there's the chime. There was our decision altitude. So if you look out the front window, that's how low you can go before we'd have to go mist. Regional departure. I'm going to start to pull the power back. How are we going with Southwest 42? Got a bunch of Southwest Airlines there. Pull it short. Right went 365, clear for takeoff. Front out the door set and clear for takeoff. Back to flight idle. Southwest 2535. Going into the flare. Runway 13 left, line of the weight. Oh, nice wind landing. Southwest 2349. I'll go back into reverse and slow it up. Left tower, Southwest 42, entering left base, runway 13 right. And we'll get off at Alpha 3. Runway 350 at 5, clear to land. That's the stall horn going off with the reverse thrust with the wind from that. Welcome to Dallas Love, guys. Exciting to be here. Pass the hold short bars, go to the ground. Ground of 851 Tango Bravo, clear 13 left on Alpha 3. We need to go to signature. 851 Tango Bravo, love you on Texas Park and be Alpha, good day. Off in the park, 851 Tango Bravo. And that is signature right out in front of us. Hope you guys enjoyed that flight. That was a long one. Probably not for you, but for, we sat in this airplane, man, I'd say about almost four hours. <laughs> oh, look at there, cool. Na old Na there's a Navy plane right there next to us. We passed by. Looks like one of those hurricane hunters. I don't know. If you guys know what that is, drop in the comments below. What they use that for. Glad I brought my raincoat. I hope you guys have yours, because we're about to get wet here in just a few minutes. All right, there's our marshal right up in front of us. We'll follow his hand instructions in. While we're here in Dallas, I'm going to take you guys to the Frontiers of Flight Museum. Looks pretty cool. Let's go check this out. So they have 
a lot of cool things to look at inside of here. I'm going to show you my top three favorites that I found. Coming at number three would have to be the uh, Corsair 2A7. It was originally conceived as a light attack aircraft to replace the Douglas A4 Skyhawk. The A7 was developed into one of the best tactical fighter bombers ever fielded by the U.S. forces. Nicknamed the ultimate bomb truck, the A7 could carry a 15,000 pound load of munitions on eight different stations on the airplane, accommodating virtually the entire range of then current U.S. Naval Aircraft Ordnance. What makes this airplane so special to me is when I was younger, looking at the different airplane magazines, this one always stood out to me. I think it's a really cool airplane. Now that we checked out my third favorite display, let's go check out my second favorite. Coming in at number two would have to be the Vought 173. This one-of-a-kind airplane built as a technology demonstrator, it was designated by the Vought aircraft as the V-173. Because of its shape, it was also called the Flying Flapjack and later renamed the Flying Pancake. Its purpose was to demonstrate a flying wing design that was capable of aerodynamic controllability at speeds as low as 24 miles per hour. I'm sure getting to fly the flying pancake back in the day was a cat's meow. Pretty cool airplane. After seeing my second favorite display here, we're now going to get to go see my favorite. Let's go check it out. Coming in at number one is my favorite display here is the Apollo 7 command module. To me, going up into space is such an intriguing thing. Let's go check out the Apollo 7. The Apollo 7 command module was the first manned flight of the Apollo program. It traveled a total distance of 4,539,959 miles. The first flight, following the tragic launch pad fire of the Apollo 1 mission command module in January 27, 1967 that killed all three astronauts, a major delay was placed on the Apollo program pending the results in an extensive series of design and safety reviews. As a result of these investigations, the module underwent many design changes. Among the changes made was a single quick operating outward opening crew hatch which replaced the two-piece hatch. The new aluminum and fiberglass hatch could be opened in a matter of seconds by both crew and the pad safety crew. In addition, the launch pad spacecraft cabin atmosphere for pre-launch testing was changed from 100% oxygen to a mixture of 60% oxygen and 40% nitrogen, a mixture that was selected after extensive flammability testing. The Apollo 7 was the first manned Apollo flight and the first one to use the re engineering command module. This vehicle made 163 Earth orbits in 10 days, 20 hours, and 9 minutes. Of all the spacecraft systems and procedures were flight tested for the first time, so effectively NASA dubbed the mission 101% successful. So there you have it. That's my top three displays here at the Frontiers of Flight Museum. And thank you guys for flying up from Miami to Dallas with me. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out these exhibits here with me. And uh, if you like the video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again Sunday soon. Sipping on the fresh boy, wake up, darling on the way up to the sun, sitting by the trees, let's roll another one, wake up, darling on the way up to the sun, sitting by the trees, let's roll another one, la 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 la, oh la 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 la, wake up. Oh la 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 la, 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 o